What's up, all my Ewoksables droids and Wookiees? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the Witcher news because if you guys didn't hear, unfortunately, or maybe fortunate uh, for everyone involved, especially Henry, uh, the Witcher is put on hold indefinitely. Uh, season three could be the final season for forever for those that don't know Henry finally had enough he's like I I can't take this anymore you guys are disrespecting me you guys are disrespecting the source material more importantly like Henry will go through hell and back for these characters because he's an actual fan and he subjected him himself to hell uh to be in the show to play Geralt he took a huge pay cut to play Geralt all because he loved this character and he loves the universe so much they treated him like absolute dog poo and after three seasons he finally said I've had enough and they announced that they were going to replace him with Liam Hemsworth but guys get this one of the writers slash producers for the show is classic back at people on Twitter and we are going to be taking a look at that in today's video but guys before I get into that please if you guys haven't already smash the subscribe button ring the bell for notifications make sure that that bell is set to all that we actually get notifications when I post videos and when I do live streams also smash that like button it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithms and without further ado let's get on to the topic all right everyone so i have javier's twitter pulled up with the tweets in question so let's take a look starting off for those who claim that we don't read slash respect the books the writer's draft of hashtag witcher season three episode six absolutely begin with dijkstra holding Geralt at knife point as he pissed into a plant i have the pages to prove it and it's like really do you think that 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 one scene uh, is, is what the fans want. really, really, okay, out of touch, but let, let's continue. Uh, then this person who you guys can see over here, it says that they're like a voice actor, writer, producer. He, he's kind of kissing ass because I think he wants a job, but he responds with, this all comes from rumors and flat out lies from casting changes of Geralt. The folks whining probably haven't read the novels, but jump on bandwagons. These are the same folks griping about the ethnicity of casting. I don't care. Tell your stories the best you can. I'll watch. Now, just, just to poke a hole in this gentleman's argument... When people went and watched Star Wars, they, they didn't know anything about it, right? There were comic books that came out before Star Wars, but uh, people watched it and could enjoy it, uh, not knowing anything about it. So the argument that, like, oh, people, you know, th weren't fans of the source material, that's not the point. You want people, you want new people to get into these things without knowing anything about it. That's a token of a good writer, of a good story, of a good production overall. They weren't able to do that. People that didn't know anything about The Witcher didn't watch, or if they did watch it, they were there for Henry Cavill and they didn't stick around because it was just terrible. But uh, let, let's go back to his response. Now, his response doesn't make much sense because it doesn't really relate to this very much at all. Also, those of us who know what really went down behind the scenes know what really went down behind the scenes. I stand behind the work and my boss 100%. Now, I just, I don't know why this is the heel that you, you want to die on. It's like, what really went down behind the scenes is like implying that something else happened that excuses all, all of their behavior, that excuses all what we got as a show. And I said that in my tweet. So I, I responded to him and I said, Hey, funny how, you know, the video game company that made the video game, they had no problem adapting the books. They had, and he, they don't even follow the books. I think it like takes place a little bit after. And there's like some things that aren't exactly what happened and they made some changes. So obviously it's not a straight from the books adaptation into a video game. They, you know, got the rights to it, they used the characters and the universe, they expanded upon it, and made it one of the most top-selling video games ever made. People love The Witcher 3. It got a huge boost in audience, it got more people's eyes on the books. It's why Henry Cavill was so interested in playing on this Netflix TV show that he had to take a huge pay cut to go and act in, all because he loved this character that he fell in love with from the video game. 
times. So again, this guy's argument about, oh, well, like we adapted it straight from the books. Again, you don't have to adapt things literally word for word, sentence for sentence. There's a way to do adaptations of things and make it good and enjoyable for a new audience, which they couldn't do, but the video game company did. They, they did just fine. They've sold millions upon millions of copies of The Witcher, specifically with The Witcher 3 video game. So this whole excuse that, oh, you know, people don't like it and you, you just don't know what happened behind the scenes. And I, I responded to that as well. And I was just like, you know, then tell us. Freaking tell us what really went down then. Because if there is something that prevented you from doing this, was there a studio head that said, no, you can't have this, this, and this. You have to do it this way. Heck, season three, you have to have the midpoint be two different episodes just because you guys don't know how to edit and know how to do an interesting story in one episode. So you have to have the same episode twice. Like we're watching a really, 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 really terrible episode of The Witcher trying to be great. Groundhog's Day, uh, just without the charm of Bill Murray and just making us all sit through this pain again, right? It's like, th this not really an excuse. What if, if there is something dramatic like that where, like, an executive is coming in and, like, rewriting the script and scrabbling everything out with a Sharpie, then uh, tell us. Tell us, because right now, what it seems to me is that what they are doing is being like, you guys don't really know how awful we had it, and that's the reason why it's terrible. No, these are the people that have been going around proud of this project, bragging about this project, and bragging about all the things that they did, but now because it's not successful, now that the show, you know, is most likely not going to have another season, most likely it's completely over, now they're like, well, you guys don't know what really happened. It's like, oh, funny, because you guys have been bragging about the show. Lauren's been been off bragging about doing all of this uh, for years now at this point. But, oh, guys, we don't really know what's going on. And they tried to imply earlier this year about how, oh, Henry was just such a pain in the ass to work with because guess what? He was trying to, like, make it better. Lauren even said that the best uh, scene in season two was when they decided to kill off Roach, and they she wanted to make it a comedy, and Henry said, absolutely not. Yeah, so that's, I, I guarantee you, that's what they're implying. That's what really went down behind the scenes. They're trying to blame it on Henry Cavill, saying that he was too much of a pain in the ass to work with, and it's like, why? Because he he knew how to do your job better. He was going out of his way to make sure that the show was the best that it could probably possibly be. And then he got so fed up with your guys' bullshit that he quit because he he couldn't take working with you people anymore. That's what really happened. Wow. Now, I would also just like to point out that so on tweets, you guys can go and there's a little thing right here where you can see hidden replies. You click it, this is the hidden reply, and I, you know, ha had to point this out. This gentleman says, uh, good luck with season four, if it ever happens. You may stand behind your work and your boss, but quality does not stand behind either. You should have rather stood behind the source material. You guys are a far cry away from what Spakowski and uh, rewriting him just showed your objective incompetence. So that is the one single reply, as of right now, as of that I'm filming, that's hidden on this tweet. I think that speaks volumes for the type of insecurity that these people have because everything that guy said was right and he was respectful. There's no reason that tweet should be should have been hidden unless they were embarrassed by it. Now that's pretty much all that's happened so far. I'm gonna be interested to see if he actually responds to me or anyone else for that matter on that thread that is a more of a fresh thread. I was able to see it from a Collider interview that where they were talking uh, about the director especially with the announcement of season four being on indefinite hold. So most, I, I have a feeling I'm probably going to be blocked uh, if he wakes up and sees my responses because that's what these people do. But I'm interested to see if he will respond to anyone else and whether you can get more to the story. I would really want to know what, uh, what really happened behind the scenes because as of right now, it just seems to me like they're using that as an excuse to hide behind because if there was something that really happened where they were forced to make this catastrophe that they did uh that that would i think would be information that would be brought to the forefront immediately uh but it's not and they're just gonna 
hide behind that. In my opinion, that, that's what it seems, but I don't know. We will see. But guys, let me know what you think about all of this down below in the comment section. If you guys watched uh, any of the shows, if you guys watched season three, uh, I did, and it was horrendous uh when henry walks off into the, the the forest i'm like go run henry run like i love seeing henry cavill as the witcher but i'm like run escape be free henry get away from this because oh my god uh it's one of those situations where the work really speaks for itself and the fans have spoken it's terrible I have not seen anyone upset that it's on indefinite hold. I've All I've seen is people celebrate. But if you guys felt differently, let me know in the comments below. If you guys liked this video, once again, please smash the like button. If you didn't, that's okay, too. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And if you guys haven't yet, please smash the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Make sure that it's set to all. That way you guys actually get notifications. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, 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 going to need it bye everyone guys once again thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my content if you guys would like to support me further go and check out my latest cosplay calendar that's live now on indiegogo it's only live for three more days so go get it while you can this is uh that star wars girl cosplay calendar bikini edition now i have dropped some more cosplays recently like my vampirella cosplay of course we got classic barbie not margot robbie's barbie guys Sailor Mercury, that's my girl. Lilu from Fifth Element. And then, of course, a classic Marilyn Monroe. And more cosplays are getting posted every week. So, guys, go and check it out. The link is down below in the description. There's a lot of cool stuff on here that I can't, uh, don't have time to talk about right here in this little end of video ad. But go and check it out. The link is in the description. I would sincerely appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And, guys, thank you. Once again, everyone, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And if you guys would like to support me further, I actually have this link tree here that has links with every way that you can possibly do that. So I have the support the show, which is a direct link to my PayPal. This is my Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, my live channel where I back up all of my live streams. So if you ever miss a live stream, either here on YouTube or on Twitch, you can catch it there on my live channel. I also have an art channel where I do painting stuff. I have a locals. I have an Etsy. I have a Facebook, I have an art Instagram, and I have a merch page. All of this can be found at my link tree. All the ways to support me, my channel, and my content is all in this link tree. Thank you so much, guys, and have a great rest of your day.